Good morning, Keyforge players, and welcome to yet another episode of playing every card. Uh, today's card is Tide Warp. Um, Tide Warp is a very interesting card. I'm looking forward to playing with more. I'm saying more because I've already played with this card because I have a deck with it. Um, yeah, this is the deck that I have with it. It's Bull's famous name, and it has Tide Warp and uh, Mecha Boy. And, um, that is actually a pretty nice combo because um, you those both trigger at the beginning of your uh, turn. So if the tide is already high, you can trigger the mecha boy first, and if the tide is low, then you can trigger the tide warp first. Um, so I think that in general, uh, tide warp combos well with cards that trigger at the beginning of your turn and uh, depend on the tide, so I think uh, Mecha Boy is the one, and um, the other one is there another one. Let, let's uh, let's do some research. Uh, card gallery. Yeah, uh, this this uh, maybe I, maybe I should have done that research before the episode, but hey, we are gonna do that research together. Um, so we want uh, Dark Tidings and card next uh, at the beginning. 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 Why doesn't this work? What does the hydrop say? At the start, not beginning. Aha. Let us start. Okay, so we have Mega Boy, obviously. Uh, what's Bach, 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 and I, Lia? At the start of each player's turn, if that player controls all or more creatures with amber on them, move each other. Okay, that is an interesting card, but not what we're looking for. Uh, this does this does depend on the tide, the amber back. Uh, at the start of your turn, if the tide is high, capital 2, but capital 2 is a pretty weak effect, so not really a combo. Seize Forge, um, no, no, no. Okay, so the only at the start of your turn is the Mecha Boy. Um, yeah, so the combo is Time Warp and Mecha Boy. Also, I think that uh, two Tide Warps um, is, will... will perform significantly different than one Tide Warp, so I'm not going to look for a deck with um, two Tide Warps this time, and I'm, instead I'm going to look for a uh, deck with Tide Warp and Mecha Boy. Um, I might actually just play my deck. Uh, I mean, it's not 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 great. Uh, that's, that's the only concern. Uh, but it is mine, and it is fun, so yeah, why not? Let's, let's, let's play this. Uh, Okay, it looks like this player is not here. So, let's start a competitive game. But if I have a deck with a card, might as well play it. Okay. But yeah, this is a, this is a neat combo, and um, like obviously it's, it's better with multiple copies of Mukabui. That would be... could be... Um, fairly powerful. I hope we gotta get uh, get soon a game. Uh, in the meantime, why not have a look at um, just some dark tidings decks with tide warp and mecha boys. Two mecha boys. How many are there? That's an interesting. Twenty six. There are twenty six decks with tide warp and two mecha boys, and they are all ranked. Oh no, that's by date. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, 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 those 26 of them, uh, they ranged in uh, SAS. Um, I wonder if Mecha Boy has... Oh yeah, yeah, see, see it has a synergy specifically with Tide Warp. Uh, that's neat. So, so yeah, the uh, SAS recognized specifically that synergy. Um, uh, tide Warp is also interesting when you're playing against um, somebody 
that is not playing down tidings. It just means that you're going to alternate between having tide and not having tide. Like, um, uh, that would be interesting with a hydrocotter level. Oh my, this deck has two hydro hydrocotter levels. Although that, that is symmetrical. There are quite a bit of decks with both. What about two hydrocotter levels? There are two of those. That's awesome. This is a fancy deck. Be ice with evil twin. That, that looks fun. This one, uh, if it didn't have icky Saurians, it would be probably fun too. No, first call. First call is an interesting card. Yeah. Uh, we're not being able to find a game today, which is unfortunate. Maybe that, that crazy Cubano person will realize that this test is not actually there and join my game. Please join my game. Please. Um. Yeah, nobody joined my game. Tough to get a game in the morning. The US people are sound asleep. And, uh, oh, they have started the game. Huh. I guess I should have been more patient. Nobody does have started the game. Come on, you know you want to play with me. I'm a terrible singer, I do not sing all. So let's let's talk about, uh, in the meantime, uh format idea that I had last night. The idea is that you bring two decks and your opponent brings two decks, but you don't, you don't show anything about those two decks, not even the house combination, nothing. And then, uh, each player gets to ban one house. Then each player reveals their um, decks and each deck that um, got hit by the ban cannot be played. And then after you've both uh, reviewed your opponent's decks, then you pick which decks to play. So if one of your decks got banned, then you only have one deck, and your opponent might have two, and then they have the flexibility of choosing which one they want to play against uh, your deck. Um, if both of you play band one deck of your opponents, then you just don't have a choice and you play whatever. Uh, you play the one that you have left. If no bands hit, then both players have two decks, and then it's um, uh, like the Bayard format that was in the K KFPL. Um, and just pick which deck you think you can handle either of their decks. And lastly, if a ban hit both your decks, you just lose. So it's probably not a good idea to bring a deck, uh, two decks with an overlap, overlap in a popular house. Um, for example, oh, I actually, okay, uh, one of the issues, okay, we have a game, but one of the issues we have with that format is the potential of scouting. But what if, when you submit your two decks, you also submit the house ban? So the, your, your, the, the, the house that you ban is consistent for the tournament. And yeah, that, that could work. And that prevents the scouting. Uh, and then you can like plan. Um, okay, I need to play the game. those Colonia, uh, they could raise the tide and then it's basically a hunted witch and a hunting witch must die, right? So I think I'll go Logos and I'll have a 50% chance, slightly better, 60% chance of playing final analysis. 
or I go Sanctum and just play my creatures. I think I'm going to go Sanctum and play my creatures. I have three creatures in Sanctum, that's pretty good. Yeah, they're probably gonna get some ammo off that uh, Chelonia. Okay, so back back to the format. The, um, if you submit the deck, the house that you banned, then you can uh, say that you have a deck that is good against specific houses, uh, or not good against a specific house. For example, you can you can ban Soyan, and then you don't have to deal with Soyan Bolt, and you don't have to have as much uh, bounce and stuff in your deck. Well, that that's very interesting. They 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 only got they got no amber off the Jelonia. Um but they mind drain one of my cards. I don't remember what it was. I think it was a logos card. Uh, use a non star line creature. I think I'm gonna go logos. I'm gonna Eureka and final analysis. Boom. I got a Mecha Boy, no, no Tide Wolf yet. Okay, so you can you can possibly like ban this if you don't like purging, uh, and then you don't have to deal with the Infernus, and you don't have to deal with the E on the fringes. Um, so you could play this and ban this. Uh, unless it, uh, there's also a variant where I'm thinking that a, a house that you ban is also a house that you can't play. You have to ban one of the houses that are not um, in your deck. That, that's also interesting. Uh, I think all those formats are potentially very interesting. I'm, I'm definitely going to try and run a tournament with that format. Um, yeah, I think uh, just Sanctum. Yeah, just Sanctum. Just Sanctum. Just Sanctum him over here. Uh, taxing journey. Uh, do I have a tide? I don't think so. Uh, too little benefit. Oh, I got a tide warp and a mecha buoy. Mecha buoy. Mecha buoy. Okay, I think I'm gonna play Star Alliance now. Take my archives with that matter maker. Um, play this, make my Seneschal Star Alliance. Now, the question is do I kill the Monkling or do I kill the uh, Triska or Rocketeer? I think it's time to kill the, uh, better to kill the Monkling right now. Um, I need to play that, and then I can bounce two, and it's Mars now. Uh, and this on the other side, and I'm gonna buff that, so if they play Unfathomable, I'm gonna steal one. Yeah, I'm excited about that, that potential format. I'm excited about what it would mean to ban a deck that is popular and what it would mean to ban a deck that is not popular, a house that is popular and a house that is not popular. Like, do you, do you bring Logos knowing that it's the most played house and, and people might ban it? Or do you think that People might not bother banning um, logos because people are gonna avoid it. It's kind of like a super mind game, or do you just like go safe? Okay, I should have killed the opportunity. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play logos. I think because I'm here to play with Mechapoi 
and time warp. And I also have our cause callback, so why not? We got the steel one. Oh, they have that drawn down, so they um, potentially have a free key. That means that I need to uh, be careful with their second key. Not that I think this deck can really be careful with anything. I raise the tide so I can use a creature. That's interesting. Okay, that, that is a combo. Operative Espion. After a player raises the tide. So time to, Tide Wolf might also combo with after a player raises the tide. I didn't think that. Um, I want to kill that, uh, that thing. So I'm going to fight it. And... I think it's time to play style lines again. Oh, I also have a Captain Corsage. <laughs> okay, so so it's nice. I have a I have a blaster, so I can add it to that. I have a pile of discovery. Do you wish to look at the top two cards of your deck and discard one of them? Yeah. Batch Magus of all operated Aspion. I will discard the Batch Magus. Cool. Oh, I also discovered that two Batch Maguses can walk like a, uh, like two Grey Riders. They can ready each other and fight, but you can't you can't reap, so it's limited. But they can like ready night. Uh, fight repeatedly. Okay, so I'm gonna bounce those two, say, and then I'm gonna upgrade this and fight that orcateer that's been giving me trouble. Uh, yeah, okay, this is going pretty well for a 50 something SAS deck. 59. <laughs> they changed the tide. Okay, they have a bazillion anvil. Um, there's no amber control in this game, uh, so I just need to uh, generate as much amber as I can, and that would be calling Star Alliance. I don't care about their amber because there's no way for me to stop them, even if I wanted to. So I'm just gonna reap. I'm gonna play this down. And just rip it out and hope they can't stop me. Oh, forger key. Mars. They're gonna try and key cheat. Dark discovery. Are they guessing? They're guessing. <laughs> That's kind of funny. They won! What? <laughs> Did they know both cards and I missed it? Uh, what's the other card called? It's uh, Drawn Down and Dive Deep. Did I miss the dive deep? I don't see it. Uh, 
I need I need I need I need I need this information. This is a untamed term. This is my term. Okay, so they, they play drawn down. This is my turn. They played untamed. It's my turn. They played star lines. He guessed. <laughs> they guessed. <laughs> they guessed. Out of five cards, which two I have at the bottom of my deck. That's hilarious. Okay, um, <laughs> we did not win, but we found another combo, uh, actually with my opponent's uh, Operative Espion. Uh, so let's look at uh, other cards that had after a player raises the tide. So there's the Hydro of the Lego, which obviously works. Um, doo -doo -doo. Those the Seneschals. This is after Forge the Key. There's the Dark, the Evil Twin, Espion, and that's it. Okay, so there aren't that many effects of after a player is died. Um, so yeah, Operative Espion is also a neat card with the Time Warp, Tide Warp, not Time Warp. I want it to be a Time Warp, but it's not. Um, yeah, I, I like this card. It's interesting. But it doesn't. It doesn't combo with a lot of stuff. It combos. Uh, it combos with uh, Mecha Buoy. It combos sort of with the Hydro Cataloger. It combos sort of with an Operator of Espion, and it kind of sort of combos with a Seneschal. Uh, other than that, it's just weird. Uh, maybe, maybe with the Sanctum, with the Sanctum creatures. And uh, oh, creatures that like low tide. Creatures that like low tide are in Sanctum. This one. Um, while the tide is low, Morpheon lands. Chosen gets plus three. Armon gets reap. So you get one turn where that one is uh, happy, and one turn where the other one is happy. Um, Uh, and it might be important if you're playing against not non DT decks that, or just decks that don't want the tide high, so you can give them the tide so the tide can be low. So that's sort of a combo. It's like not a very potent combo. Um, yeah. So let's let's see how many decks with tide warp has with zero mecha boys and zero espion. Evil Twin and Zero, None, None, and Seneschal, None, and Seneschal, None, and those are the main combos, uh, not my decks. There are none. Wait, what? Oh, we are still on my decks. Why? <laughs> that was weird. Okay, there are thousands of decks with a Tide Warp and no, none of those cards. So there's a Tide Warp here. And, and it's basically not good. 
Okay, so those those are, those like very few decks where uh, the tide warp is actually comboing. Uh, so I think that like flat out um, tide warp tide warp is not a card that you want in your deck, like on average, uh, because most chances are you don't have a combo. But if you do have like a mecha boy. There are 364 decks with the Tide Wolf and a Mecha Boy. If you do have that, that's a really nice combo. Um, but if you don't, it's kind of crappy. It's like mostly just taking away your Tide every time. Uh, it does, however, kind of mitigate your opponent's ability to control the Tide. Um, like they can't just raise the Tide to the other. Like if you don't have any way to raise the Tide, um, it's better to have the tide half the game than not have it at all, or have space spend three chains to get it, and then your opponent spend three chains to get it. I think I think it might might maybe it is interesting without the mecha boy. Maybe I should play a game with a uh, tide and no mecha boys. Uh, let's see. This is a pretty good deck. But do I want to play Tide Warp? Like it has... It has... Okay, it doesn't have very reliable ways to raise the tide. You know what? Let's give this a go. Let's see if we can get a game fairly quickly. And let's play a game with uh, Tide Warp and no way to... and no Maple Boy. And no obvious combo. You know what? Let's do this tomorrow. One game a day. It's going to be pretty long and I need to start my day. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you have uh, comments or ideas about uh, Tide Warp that I did not think of in this episode, please do let me know. Um, I, um, yeah. Um, like, subscribe. I try to do this every morning. So far, I've been successful. I think I've done... Um, this is the seventh episode, so a full week. That's awesome. Um, yeah, uh, if you have any ideas, if you have uh, thoughts about future cards that I'm going to play, um, let's let's have a look. The next episode, next episode will be another tide tide warp episode. I'm going to play it again uh, without any. Um, oh wait, I forgot to mark the so it is. Uh, it's bad. Uh, tide warp. So I'm gonna play it again next next time. Uh, but after that, we have Ophion lands chosen. We're starting Sanctum. Um, actually, we could we could do a double whammy and tide tide warp with Ophion lands chosen and see how that feels because it it needs the tide low. It's interesting. Okay, yeah. So send me a message if you have a deck with those that you would want me to play instead of a random deck, um, I'd be happy to. Uh, thank you again for watching and see you next time.